In this video, we'll be looking at the information portal and also how to navigate in CargoWise 1. When you log into CargoWise 1, you'll be presented with the information portal and the jump menu. We'll begin by looking at the information portal. This content rich portal is divided into sections. Three sections are for CargoWise 1 update notes, WISE Learning updates, and WISE news. Another three sections are available for your own business news and announcements. Clicking on any of the hyperlinks in these portals will open the respective item for you in order to find out more details. For example, if you click on a CargoWise 1 update, a web browser opens showing you the related update note. As you click on the hyperlinks, these will be removed from the list shown in the information portal. This is to ensure that only updates you've not yet read are displayed. Now we'll look at how to navigate in CargoWise 1 using the main menu. Click on Operate to access the operational modules such as Schedules, Forwarding, Customs, Transport, Warehouse, and Liner and Agency. When you click on a submenu item here, further menu items will display. For example, under Forwarding, you can access CFS CTO, Forwarding, and Order Manager. From within Forwarding, you can select Consolidations or Shipments. As you access the module, the menu disappears from display, maximizing your operational area. You'll be able to use the filters to find existing records, which you can highlight, and then view, edit, copy, as well as create new records. Depending on the area you've selected, filters and toolbar items will vary. To go back to the menu, click on the Home symbol here. Another way to open the module is in a new window. To do this, right-click on the desired module and then select Open Module Name in New Window. This opens the module, leaving the main screen open in the background. Under the Manage menu, you can access Sales and Marketing, Tariffs and Rates, Workflow and Process, Doc Manager, as well as the accounting functions, with the exception of Operational Based Billing, which is performed within the job from each module. Under Maintain, you'll find access to your reference and database files. You can use your keyboard to access the Jump, Operate, Manage, or Maintain menus by pressing the Control key on your keyboard with 1, 2, 3, or 4 respectively. Next, we'll explain the Jump menu. You'll notice that as you navigate to various modules, those modules you've accessed display on the Jump menu. You can click on these to quickly jump to the module. In a similar manner, if you've created new records, viewed or edited existing records, then these items will display as recent items in the area concerned, as well as showing on the jump menu, which we'll access this time by pressing Control plus the number 1 on our keyboard. This makes navigating very simple. If you would like to access a particular record or module frequently, then click on the star next to that item in the Recent Items or Recent Modules sections to add it to the Favorite section. Again, you can use your keyboard by pressing the control and corresponding function keys to open the item directly. In this case, control and F1 will open this shipment record, whereas control and F2 will open the shipment's module. Alternatively, with modules, you can choose to open these in another window by pressing control, shift, and the appropriate function menu on your keyboard. The main screen remains open in the background. You can detach items from the Favorites section by simply clicking on the star again. The Jump menu also has a search function. To access this, click on the magnifying glass icon here or press the Control and F keys on your keyboard. The search function makes it easy for you to locate modules and recent items. Enter your required search in the field. We'll enter Shipment. As you enter data in this field, the search results appear automatically below. Results are grouped by functional area, including favorites. Our results show that the word shipment has multiple hits. In the favorites menu, 
CFS CTO, Forwarding, Order Manager, and Sales and Marketing. You can select the first result in the list by pressing the Enter key on your keyboard. Otherwise, click on the required option to open the respective search area. We'll return to the search function by clicking on the Home symbol. This time, we'll start entering a shipment number. The results that display are those from favorites, recent items, or modules that match our search, which is quite broad at this stage. To clear a search, press the Escape key on your keyboard. If the search field is empty, then when you press the Escape key, the Jump menu will display. Finally, we'll have a look at the Help and Options menus. Under the Help menu, you can access the My Account section of the WiseTech Global website, access a full list of update notes, turn on the Training Mode, which will provide helpful bubbles for each field you click into, or create an e-request incident. We've explained these options in more detail in other learning units. Click on the Options menu to change your company branch and or department, change your password, log in as another user, access EDI Tariff, or exit from CargoWise 1. Exit and Remember Open Forms will ensure that any records open at the time you exit will reopen when you log in next.